So car passed car garage today. I'm working on my Subaru Legacy. I'm gonna be changing out the front wheel bearing, uh, driver's side. I already went ahead and replaced the passenger side. I had a video on that. So yeah, let's get into it. It's not that hard of a job. Lug nuts are 19 millimeter. To complete this job, you're gonna wanna take off your brake caliper. You can just go ahead and remove your two caliper bolts. You have one here, one right here, and you have one right below it. Right here. Just take those out and your whole caliper can come off and you can probably hoist it up in here between the control arm and the CV axle. So those two bolts are 17 millimeter. Second one. And the rotor comes straight off. Set this to the side. I have the other wheels still on, so it's gonna be hard to turn. But I can already feel the roughness in that bearing in there. I can feel how rough it is. Um, I can also hear it when I'm driving. So let's go ahead and swap out this entire assembly. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove this axle nut right here. Go ahead and remove this 32 millimeter axle nut. All we have to do is remove the bolts. And they're actually pretty exposed once you get back here. You can see one right there, and there's another one right above it. There's one here, one bolt there, one on the opposite side and up top. There's one here, and then you can see the other one right beside it. So those four bolts in the back are actually 14 millimeter. I was able to get it wedged in past the CV axle. So we'll just go ahead and test the ratchet to it and um, Go ahead and drive those bolts out of there. Obviously these are kind of beat up, kind of old, so go ahead and get some WD-40 or some PB blast. Yeah, those bolts are pretty in there, pretty much stuck in there. So after about an hour of struggling with this bolt, it's finally coming loose. But here's the reason why. That's one bolt out, three more to go. So I finally got the four bolts out uh, after fighting with it. Since yesterday I had to take a break because it started raining. Um, I ended up going ahead and taking out the uh, tie rod end from the knuckle. That's a 19 millimeter castle nut and a cotter pin that sticks through it so I can have room to move it freely. From this point, all I have to do is knock this loose, give it a couple whacks with a hammer, knock this stud out, stick a bolt through here. So what I did was I got a bolt, I got a nut that'll thread onto it. And these two are oversized. I use a lug nut and an oversized nut. I fit the bolt through, put these two nuts on so that when I actually use the impact to tighten it from this side, these two nuts will be pressing up against the hub itself. Well, let me show you what I mean. You can now see the gap between the hub itself and the actual knuckle. So that's what you want to see. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this rotor shield off, um, get the new hub, and we'll um, be ready to install it. This is the new hub assembly. Got this from eBay, but from Auto Shack store. As you 
can see, I'm doing a crisscross, start at the top left and doing the bottom right. That, guys, is how you replace a hub assembly on a Subaru, specifically 2008 Legacy. Pretty sure it's the same for the Imprezas and the Foresters and so forth. But that's it. That's how you do it. It feels a lot better. Just go ahead and put your 32 millimeter axle nut back on and um, put your rotor and your caliper back on. Stick your tie rod in back in and you're done with the job. That's it for a front hub assembly on a Subaru. So car repair, so car garage, peace.